Welcome back to Breaking Waves. We are starting this week's episode off in the beautiful Tanacatita, Mexico. Our goal is to combine surfing and sailing. So four years ago, we bought our 41-foot sailboat and taught ourselves to sail in some of the trickiest waters in Canada. We put a lot of work into restoring her to her former circumnavigating self. And nine months ago, our first offshore pass, we head offshore and are finally living our dream. And in this week's episode, we are giving it to you straight, raw and unfiltered, a weekend off with the Breaking Waves crew. And most mornings start the same, with taking our boat dog, Bruce, to the beach. There you go there, Spiro woman. I'm ready for this. I just put, I got this stuff. I met this girl in the water uh, surfing and she was like telling me about her sunscreen brand. And I'm trying it and I'm slowly falling in love with it. It's called Live Sunny and it's uh, fully reef safe and also organic. And it also like, it's not white. So it's like, you don't look like a ghost. And I love sticks because they're small and you can put them in your pocket and uh, it's fully organic. It's pretty sweet. I'm really happy with it. No pelicans on the boat. No sea rays, no pelicans. No otters. He's a super dog. He's the super dog. <laughs> See, I'm, my head's not in that shot. What are you talking about? <laughs> are you gonna get in the boat so I can pass you things? Allie thinks her head's not in the shot. Ben is like dad cam. He's dad cam. <laughs> See? He's dad cam. He's like looking at me, but the camera is like not, I doesn't like even to, have me I in like it. All right, y'all, we got our Bickerton sponsored setup. Faithful, we call it. Tell me. For Ben. To life, fresh fish tacos. <laughs> Go get her, girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just high five, but we'll do it again. Yo yo. Finally, guys, I'm not a shit spear. Well, that's a I mean, good, sh good shot. Good shot. They let you get really close to them. So, what did you say? Was there anything else? You said lots of those. Anything else? Lots of black triggers. I think I saw like a small grouper, but he was only like this big. Um, it's not super deep. It's only like maybe 10 feet, so they're not huge. Um, there's lots of beautiful tropical fish like the. What are those angel fish and then the, the yellow and black striped aquarium looking fish? Are you gonna go again? Yeah, if we get two of those, we could maybe have fish tacos. Yeah. I wouldn't mind going too, so. Okay. Get in so I can get in before, I'll get one before more. the heat. Okay. Yeah. Got another one. I got another one. Ben made Ben said no more triggers, and there's so many triggers. Um, so I wasn't allowed to get any more triggers, but then this guy. Oh, I ben like, says ghosts. <laughs> you're 
bossy. <laughs> but I followed this guy around the reef. He like, I saw him and then he went around a reef and I followed. And when I followed, he like turned around and looked at me and came up to me and then turned to the side and I shot him. There's a, there's a, at one point I was like, I can't wait for Ben to go swimming because he's going to see how beautiful the reef is. It's a healthy reef. It's really nice. There's a school of amberjacks that were like super interested in me and I was like, get away. They're like just small, not worth shooting, but um, I was like in them and they just kept swarming me and I was like, can you go away? Um, I feel pretty stoked guys. I'm actually starting to get dial dialed in and I mean that in the like um, humblest way, I guess. I guess I could be using the GoPro. I don't know using Got yellow on them. I'm happy that I'm like, I'm able to be more selective. Like if Ben says no more triggers, I'm like, okay, there's lots of other fish and I'm feeling more confident in oh, my keep, shot. Hold on, I want to get a photo too. Oh. You look scary. to clean the lens. So many big black triggerfish. I know, they're massive and they're everywhere. We're definitely gonna have enough meat tonight if you bring in maybe one more of those. Man, it feels absolutely amazing to have a day off down here and go do something without any pressure and I am just glowing right now that I had a fish, I had two fish. Um, I got a trigger and I think a, some type of a jab, jack. Um, I wanted so badly to be good at this and for the longest time I wasn't and it was it's starting to like kind of weigh on me but I'm not bad at this and I, I can harvest my own food from the ocean and I can be selective about size because I'm not desperate because I have a decent shot and oh this reef is beautiful and I'm just on cloud nine right now there are no clouds the sun is out the water is crystal crystal clear and there's so many fish I'm like swimming through 10 11 12 black huge black trigger fish that I'm like you know like trigger are, are thin so I'm like do I want to put in that much work nay let me see what else there is and then I'll go back for a trigger if I can't find anything else but it's just so great to be living off the ocean and feel like relaxed and happy and oh I can't wait for the year off. Ah, we're gonna have fish tacos tonight. Maybe go for a sunset surf. Like this is ideal. This is so ideal. Did you get something? No. Nah. <laughs> that ends up being good meat, but let's try the two fish we got. You say we got enough meat. I think we got enough meat. Sustainable fishing, people. Yeah, it's a really beautiful reef, right? Lots of structures. Yeah, it's really nice. Super clear water. Tons of, tons of nice looking fish. And urchins too, if we ever want to start harvesting those. A couple weeks ago, we lost a GoPro to water damage and decided to test our new one before taking it into the water again. Testing. Hello, hello, testing. Hello. GoPro. Welcome back to our lives. There's no water inside you. And we love you. GoPro. Blow on it. Huh? Blow on it. I want to see if it helps the wind. <laughs> Did you see? Mom told me to protect my skin, so I'm wearing my hooded hat and my hatted hood. <laughs> we head back into the water, and Bruce made it very clear that he would be having none of that. 
Wow, who's this little freeloader? This side of that. He would be joining us on this sort of mission. <laughs> Jumped off the boat and scammed to the board. He's <laughs> 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 like guilty and like he doesn't want to talk about it. We made it to shore, buddy. Ain't no leaving this super dog on the boat, eh? You're a super dog. Yeah, Lantern, you earned it. You earned it. <laughs> Got a fun little left hand peeler here. Gotta watch out for the stingrays. Do the shuffle. So this little drama queen, stage five clinger, absolute baby, uh, got tired in the surf. Thankfully, we were hoping he would and then just go, go to land. But he goes to land and then he stands there and howls like, like it's the end of the world or like we are being killed and he's been forcing, forced to watch or something. Absolutely the most dramatic sound until I caught a wave and came in. And now he's happy as a clam. <laughs> Call a cook, ladies and gentlemen. A cook. Absolutely unacceptable that we're far from you. <laughs> hey, you little butt. <laughs> All right. You forced your way to come with us. You forced your way on Fun little place. surf break there. Here in Santa Catita, one of the fellows in the water there said that it's kind of a low high tide and it needs to be high tide, so I guess it's not really shaping up the way it can. And it never gets really big, I hear, or very rarely. But uh, still, fun little longboard session. Super mellow, super warm water, sandy bottom, right off the boat. Like it's 
pretty cool. Had a couple. I was gonna go back in and uh, we're going back up. Whoop. in for a couple more waves without Bruce pirating my board. Crystal water, blue skies, it was so perfect. And once all three of us had our fill, we paddled back to the boat. And yet again, Bruce pirated Ben's surfboard. Breaking Waves crew is all pooped. Everybody's asleep on the boat. We were running on food, and uh, there's a crocodile sanctuary in town here that I really want to go to, but it's the Sunday of Easter weekend, so I don't think it's open. Um, it's been an amazing weekend, absolutely amazing. Surfing, spearing, sailing all of our favorites and I think it might be winding down so if we don't get to go to the Croc Museum I guess I guess I'll be okay with that but I'll have to think about getting back into the work week I gotta start thinking about packing up the boat for our hurricane season we're gonna leave it heat down here and head back up to Vancouver Island Quite a bit of work so we'll see when Ben and Bruce wake up from their naps they had a lot of fun in the surf Bruce especially I can't believe he jumped in the water to come surfing with us and stayed in the water with us a little stage five clinger but um, he got lots of exercise we both did as well shaped up to be a pretty good week weekend <laughs> We finished off the day with some ceviche and pina coladas on the beach. It couldn't have gone better. If you are new here, you're gonna wanna hit subscribe so that you don't miss out on next week's episode where we get up close and personal with some crocodiles before sailing back to Barra to start the process of packing up the boat for hurricane season. Thank you to our patrons who keep us going. And if you want to join the community, hit the Patreon link to get exclusive comment and early ad-free episodes. See you next week.